Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the channel. And I think it's time to start making videos. And by start making videos, I mean I do this for a living. I just need to start making them for myself. So today we're gonna start with a story about how I got stuck in the middle of the ocean on a boat that wouldn't start with no radio. So this starts at the Coast Guard. How you doing? I guess this is the station where boats just go and pick people up. So we we're able to get onto the boat here and made our way out into the ocean. Now the point of this trip was to go fishing with my father-in-law. His name is Randy and he's an expert fisherman. So he was able to show me some of the ropes. We don't need that. We don't need this thick and back. <laughs> so generally when you go fishing in the ocean, you want to look out for two things. One is kelp, which is just plants in the ocean because fish, I guess, hide under these things. So you can fish underneath those or you're looking for birds because birds hunt fish. Anyway, there are birds, there will be fish. So we were looking for both of these when we were out in the ocean. Got some in the water? Now we found a few of these when we were out there, but the problem is that there were no fish. We checked, I even looked under the boat. What's the likelihood you're gonna catch something out here? Some of them hold fish, some don't. Yeah. Some hold fish, they don't bite. They you, know, just, you know, it just depends. If, if we're the first guys to hit this one, you got a shot. Yeah, being a novice fisherman, I think I've been out a few times and never caught anything. <laughs> yeah. We'll see if I can't, you know. It's hard to, it's hard to put odds on it, you know. <laughs> so we decided to go a little bit further and look for some more fish when the boat wouldn't start. Try the other one. Try the, uh, yeah. See yeah, if I got, see if I got it backwards. You know, I have, people, uh, uh, I have a client I sold a home to that's living with a friend. She can't find any <laughs> So I cannot tell you how unnerving it is to be in a boat in the middle of the ocean with water all around you and the boat won't start. Now, I don't know much about boats, so I, it seemed like this was the time to panic because it looked like we were in the middle of the ocean, but I guess this is pretty common and you can fix these problems when you're on the boat. So we got it started again and we started moving. Now, there was a second objective for the day and that was to go to Catalina Island. Now, if you've never heard of it, You've probably never seen the movie Step Brothers. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I'm ready to take on the Catalina wine mixer. The second objection was to go and get lunch and get a fish sandwich when we were at Catalina Island. So we were making our way that direction when we found some more fish. So we stopped and we looked and we fished again and again there were no fish. But again, the boat did not start. What would that? I don't know, but it sure, it, it sure stopped. Quick. Is this one of those adapt situations you were talking about? Yeah, this is exactly an adapt and overcome. <laughs> no reason to panic, no. right? <laughs> Absolutely, no, the water's calm. Now we were able to get it started a second time, which means we were making our way closer to the island when we got this big pod of dolphin that started swimming around the boat. It was huge. So we were going and this huge school of dolphin, school, family, pod, a bunch of dolphin were around the boat.
Now, we stopped a third time when we thought there were fish, and once again, the boat wouldn't start, although this time, we couldn't fix it. We couldn't get the boat to start again, so we were stuck. And then we started to call out on the radio and realized that we could hear people on the radio, but we couldn't call out. Does this die again? Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that's my suspect right there, though. Vessel assist Avalon. Vessel assist Avalon. Come back. Harbor Patrol Avalon. Harbor Patrol Avalon. Harbor Patrol. Harbor Patrol. Harbor Patrol. And there were times when it looked like we were in the middle of the ocean. All you could see in every direction was water. And normally, this would be the time to panic because there isn't cell reception. But we were close enough to the island this time that we were able to make phone calls. So we were able to call somebody to tow the boat. I didn't know that was a thing. But we got somebody to tow the boat. They got for cell phones. Yeah. Hey Cheryl, um, I am, I, I'm not able to transmit. I'm about a mile off of Avalon and I believe my fuel pump's dead, but uh, I can re I hear people talking, but I can't transmit apparently. Uh, I need to tow, I, I'm dead in the water. Yeah, I got vessel assist, but I'm not able to transmit. Just call vessel assist. <laughs> Hi, this is Randy Miner. How can I help you out today, sir? I'm gonna need a tow. I'm sorry to hear that. Is everybody safe and doing okay right now? Yeah, we're all fine. Everybody's on board and safe. But they said if they towed it to the island and they weren't able to fix it there, they wouldn't be able to tow us back. So we could either go to the island or just get towed all the way back to Newport Beach. So we did that, and it was a five hour tow. But you know, we made the most of it. Tow Boat USA. Almost fishing. <laughs> so, yeah, right by the shed pump, the pump out. Okay.
So we ended up making our way back and everything was fine. We got back, they fixed the boat. Turns out we needed a new impe impeller, impeller, the little propeller on the inside of the boat. Anyway, we need a new impeller. So we got that and then we were able to go on more fishing trips. But this one, we didn't catch any fish and we almost got stuck in the middle of the ocean without being able to call out on the radio. So this is my first video. Now the point of making these videos is I love doing it. I love making these, but also I have a cousin named Kevin who makes marketing videos. And my goal for this video series is to be more famous than Kevin. All right, that's it for this week. Join us next week when we go on our next adventure to Nashville. Oh, my light just went out. We'll see you then.